Hi, in this video I am really excited to invite you into my happy black kitchen. Hi, my name is Christina Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff's Happy Home series. If this is your first visit and you don't know what the Happy Home series is, I'll leave a link here. Please watch it because that explains why. I'm actually talking about design and interior design on my Happy Stuff and Fluff channel. Okay, so I'm not going to say any more. Without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll come back and chat to you afterwards. So remember when we talked about my dining room and I told you that we chose this particular timber for a reason. This is the reason. Welcome to the kitchen. This is my black kitchen. What do you think? You know when I told people originally that uh, people would say, oh, what's your kitchen going to be like? And I'd say, oh, I want a black kitchen. You could see people are kind of, okay. Okay, well, this is the black kitchen and I absolutely love it. Now you'll see if you look to this wall, the whole wall is clad in black. But obviously we've got things on there that break up the black. You know, black is one of my favorite colors. I think it is a neutral color actually. Um, it's very grounding, at least it is for me. And obviously with all of those things on there, including the herbs here um, and the pottery up at the top, are set off so beautifully against the black, don't you think? Okay, move in a little bit and I'll show you. And so here, you've seen this before, because we've got one of these in the sitting room, if you remember. I'll try and put a link up. These um, light fittings actually were one of the first things that I chose for the kitchen. Very industrial and um, beautiful copper. But spotlight, if you look down, when we have, you know, if anyone's here for supper, then these lights actually spotlight the food. And then we come to the cooktop, which is obviously not my domain, as you know, unless I'm making porridge, of course. And um, this is Mr. Kitchen's domain um, but how beautiful is this it's just so strokeable and you'll also notice that up there we don't have a cooker hood this is the cooker hood now I'm not going to demonstrate that for you what I'm going to do is leave links for you because obviously Mr Kitchen's um, YouTube channel is all about kitchens and he has gone into detail on these particular hobs. Also, he's gone into detail on these particular taps. I want to come a little bit closer so that I can show you this. This is a boiling water tap. It's a sparkling water tap. It's a chilled water tap and also a filter water tap. It's the most amazing, amazing tap. And again, I'll leave a link if you want to know all about these um, on, Mr. on Mr. Kitchen's channel because he goes into detail about, about them, about how much they cost and how you fit them and so on. But it's been life-changing for me. You know I don't like to drink water. Well, since this has been installed, the sparkling water I absolutely love because it isn't that sparkling that it burns the back of your throat. Do you, do you know what I mean? That's what puts me off sparkling water. Uh, this is a gentle sparkling that's so lovely and easy to, easy to drink. So I like that. Okay, black worktops. Um, but look, they've got this lovely shine on them as well. Oh, um, yeah, black worktops. And also you can see flat matte black doors. Now I cannot deny it takes a little bit of extra care to keep these looking pristine but I feel it's well worth it. Now of course offsetting the whole of the blackness 
is this beautiful uh, work surface on the peninsula. Notice we went for a peninsula and not an island unit. We had the space to do an island unit, but we didn't want to do this. This is a great big cooking, baking area. Um, if you do any baking, of course. Uh, this is the Rolls Royce of kitchen worktops. It isn't quartz, it isn't marble, it's actually Corian worktop, which as I say is the Rolls Royce of worktops. You won't see any joins in here at all. Now it's white but it's got little flecks in it also which add a little bit of texture and interest in the worktop. Feels quite cool so it's good to bake straight onto. This is why bakers I especially love Corian worktops because of that, because it's like a, like a coolness on it the whole time. And then my nod to Frank Lloyd Wright, if any of you are interested in Frank Lloyd Wright, is this overhanging section here, which is, what do you call this? It's a cantilever, that's the word, a cantilevered, hung over unit. Just a little decorative touch um, that reminds me of Frank Lloyd Wright. <laughs> Anyone who knows Frank Lloyd Wright will laugh at that because it's absolutely nothing like anything Frank Lloyd Wright did except that he enjoyed this kind of cantilever and I'll leave a picture of falling water somewhere uh, to show you what I mean. Um, Frank Lloyd Wright also features in the decorative items. This is the Guggenheim Museum in a cup. Yeah, so when I talk about happy home and talk about introducing things in your home that are personal to you. There you see, there's the Guggenheim Museum. Um, that picture you just saw was of the Conroy women. Um, everything in my kitchen has that kind of personal um, meaning and gives me a sense of belonging when I'm in here. Now, um, we live and we uh, use this kitchen. Um, so you'll see here is my, well, as it was Charlotte's Dosset box for tablets. But I've overtaken it. And these are my um, supplements that I take on a daily basis. Now, I sit here to have my coffee in the mornings. That stays there so that I never forget to take them. So that's a tip um, that I'd like to give you there. And that's the collagen I'm using at the moment which is delicious and I'll tell you about that another time. So those things are in place for me to use. We also have phone charging uh, equipment here, which is where we charge our phones, because I've told you I don't charge phones in the bedroom and nor should you. So we wanted somewhere well out of the way while we were sleeping in order to charge the phones. I'm trying to think, what else can I tell you about? Oh, so here we have this oven, which is one of the reasons it's taken me so long to show you the kitchen because of the issues that we've been having getting appliances at all, um, the combination microwave, which is this one here, took a very long time to come. Um, but it's here now and it's beautiful. And then I'd like to show you this, my decorative cupboard. You want to come closer? Now this is where we make coffee because in here, um, in here is all my coffee and Everything you need to make coffee. The cups are in here, and this is um, this is the station where we make coffee. But this cupboard, which is absolutely wonderful, comes to life when you do this. Oh, look at that! <laughs> so, I mean, at the moment it's got glasses in it. I have got a, a decorative pot in there, but I will be kitting that out um, with some more uh, more interesting and decorative items in these top two glass shelves here that you can see when you actually enter into the room. That's what you can actually see. It's called a tambour shutter. And that goes all the way up there, like this. And then you can bring it down. So when we're having dinner, for example, we can turn all the lights off, leave that one on, and it's just a nice decorative item. Um, and then, yes, I have included a little trolley bar here and not to a trend really because they are very trendy but this black um this black one suited the kitchen quite nicely so i really enjoy that okay is there anything else i wonder that you might be interested in in seeing in the kitchen this lovely bar area i just love this the wood against the corian wood top and the thickness of it um is a nod i guess to a more um, 
farmhouse country style. As I've said to you before, tell me in the comments box below, what would you say my interior design style is? I have no idea. There's all kinds of things in here. It's just a combination of everything. But I hope you agree with me that we've managed to pull it together nicely. And because of the white ceiling, the light coloured floors and the light coloured surface, the black kitchen is not dark at all. So what did you think? Do you love it? Don't you just love it? Tell me in the comments box below. Um, tell me honestly, you can be brutal. You know, we really experimented with this kitchen, if you like, in terms of the appliances we've used and of course the cladding of that black wall it was a bit of an experiment, but I love how it's turned out. And I think being able to um, connect the dining room and the kitchen through design in that way using the same timber just it just looks fantastic it makes me feel complete when i'm in there now i know it's a cliche the kitchen is the heart of the home but it really is the heart of the home even for me and i don't do the cooking <laughs> it's not just about cooking the kitchen is it it's not just about uh about cooking it is where everyone gathers and especially if you have the dining room attached to the kitchen such as we do then that's even more important so yeah i'll really be excited to know what you think and in part two i'll show you what it looked like before and go into a little bit more detail about it about the design details and things that um, i actually love about the kitchen okay i look forward to hearing from you until next time and until then remember that on the happy stuff and fluff we're getting happy living longer and growing younger in beautiful homes i'll see you next time bye bye